so uh, before we start this overview of how I structure my days and how I align the tasks that I do with uh, my overarching objectives, um, it's, it's important to, to note kind of my philosophy, my, my learning philosophy. So I'm, I'm someone who believes deeply in the power of compounding. <laughs> and by compounding, what I mean is by, um, the power of 1% improvements. Uh, right. If if you keep on uh, on on do, on improving like one percent per day, it's you will you will explode. You, you will be amazing by like one year afterwards. So, so let, let's let's do a bit the math. I don't know. It it wouldn't work here. So let let me do it in this spreadsheet. So um, equals. There's an exponential or power function. So essentially, we want um, if we're improving one percent per day, we we will have uh, three hundred and sixty-five days, right? And over those three hundred and sixty-five days, we will improve one percent per day. So we will be one percent better than the previous day. So that's the same as multiplying by one point zero one. Um, let's see what this gives us. So you will be 30, almost 38 times as better after one year, um, than you were at the start, at the start of that year. So, and you're just improving 1% per day. And this, I, I could even plot something in, in the, in the, in the spreadsheet or whatever, but, uh, that, that's not the goal. The goal is really to understand that um, there's a lot of value of developing habits and ensuring that those habits are, are you get back to those habits um, frequently, like at least a bit per day. That, that's that's I guess um, I guess my motto. Hey, Wig! <laughs> oh, thank you for the donation. That spreadsheet. <laughs> Thank you, Wix, and thank you for joining us. That's great. I hope I hope that you enjoy this this um, this small segment uh, to to just warm up. Thank you very much. You're too kind. Spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so compounding, a small doing a small bit per day and sleeping on it. I'm actually kind of preparing some notes for um and and I'll go over w what this tool is and. Uh, why um why am i using it all that stuff so i'm actually thinking about an article on learning and i have i have a lot of uh, notes here already probably more than i can than i can actually mention on it but uh, yeah it's um for me it's all about studying um studying a given comp concept or practicing so, um a given skill at least a little bit every single day or uh, recurrently, like um, um, so something like that, and study it from multiple different perspectives so that you, you get nimble, you don't get too narrow focused on something. For example, magic. Um, so I've read countless times about, I don't know, maybe um, sideboarding, sideboarding or um, yeah, let, let's let's take sideboarding. I, I've read it in the level one articles by Reed Duke. I've level I read about it in um, in the the deep dives that Channel Fireball Pro um, pushes. Uh, I've read about it in countless different aspects, and I'm still poor at it, I believe. But it's the, all those reads, uh, uh, readings, and uh, and plus more than <laughs> that I'll do in the future in the future all of those help to strengthen the um, above all the the foundations right the, it helps to strengthen the connections that my brain has around it so and as i explained previously our brain or at least our memory um uh, even what do we call muscle me muscle memory it's really driven by it's like a key value store or 
there's a trigger for it. There's a trigger for a given memory, a trigger for a, trigger for a, a given action that we take. Um, and those triggers, you, if you diversify those triggers, it's much more likely that the information will come to you uh, once you actually need it. And if it, it's not only about diversifying those triggers, it's also about strengthening the connections themselves. So going over it and repeating and practicing. And if you ever practice something like an instrument, playing an instrument or um, or martial arts, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like uh, in both of those uh, disciplines, let's call it, you are trying to commit, essentially commit actions to your innate memory, to your uh, to your subconscious okay so so that they are very fast to perform right so that so that you don't need to act to to think consciously about them and you just do them right that's that's what what you're trying to do um so there there are ways to reach that but it won't happen overnight right <laughs> commit to memory <laughs> Actually, actually, I was uh, uh, th that was a pun not intended, but but it was <laughs> it was a nice moment indeed. Um, <laughs> so that's that's a bit my my uh, I, I guess in broad strokes that's a bit my my philosophy on learning. So I truly believe on on growth mindset, right? I I don't like that that kind of um, discourse, like um, oh you're so lucky or um, um, yo, you're so naturally talented. Uh, I really don't like that that um, that kind of discourse because it really it it disincentivizes effort, right? It 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 essentially means that if someone is not good at something, you're just not talented. You're just not meant for it, and um. So you cannot do it <laughs> ever. So that, that that's crazy. That's crazy. For example, um, I I didn't practice much sports, and I was very bad at sports uh, until the age of like fifteen or something. And at the age of fifteen, um, I started practicing kung fu, and I've put a lot of effort on it uh, up to the point that I was actually decent, decent. I, I wouldn't say very good, at least competitively, but I, but I was quite decent. And then I moved on to uh, parkour because parkour, I, I found like I, di I did an experimental class and I was like, oh, cri Christ, I, I can't do a, th a thing that, <laughs> that these guys request me to do. Um, so it was completely outside my comfort zone. So I was hooked <laughs> and I wanted to, to do it more uh, because I knew that I could grow into it. Um, and I Essentially, I think it's also something that l I'm lucky to have experienced it often, so that I can trust in this growth mindset. In the, in the um, in the mindset, it's not really fake until you make it, but that expression sort of encodes what I what I'm trying to say, right? Um, it, you will do something enough times to to actually, as as we pointed out. You commit it to 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 memory, and <laughs> you're actually able to to perform it effortlessly. So that's that's the plan. And about ma the magic is the same thing. You should uh, narrow your focus to a, some set of skills, and okay, let's deliberate practice them. Let's let's put some effort in, into these tasks so that I can actually commit this to to our innate memory and move on to more complex. Um, to more complex things, right? Um, so that's a, that's a bit about it, and this is a sneak peek. It, it's it's an article that will still take a lot of time to to actually come out. Uh, I don't have that much time to 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 write right now, but I hopefully will. Um, still, um, getting back to the topic of today. So now we I we discussed a bit my perspective on learning, right? And given that it's all fine and good, okay, let's let's have some habits, let's let's do some stuff. But how do we ensure that we are making progress, right? So there are a few strategies, and if you don't know the book uh, by James Clear, Atomic Habits, 
you should know it and you should read it. It's it's amazing. It's very accessible and very very well written. It and and very useful. So it's everything at the same time. Essentially, it's one of the best books that I that I've read in 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 recent memory, at least. Um, so I loved it, and there are some things here that are coming directly from there. Uh, but I would advise, still advise you to read the full book to <laughs> to get a much better understanding of uh, other examples that um, that might be useful for you. Um, essentially, then, uh, how do we ensure that we are making progress and that we um, and that we have the time available to dedicate to making progress? Right. So essentially, I I establish a top down um, a top down planning strategy. Let's call it like that. Uh, that seems really fancy, but it, but, but it's not. Um, let me just check something. Why is this saying? Okay, okay, okay. Forget it. Um, I was just looking at the recording time and thinking it was the streaming time. Don't 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 mind it. Um, so I establish. I, I I like to to establish a top down strategy. Like uh, and again, it, this is also one of the recurring uh, um, mental models: divide and conquer. Right? I identify a big issue that I want to address. Even that might take years. That might take months. That might take a, a single day. I, I it depends. Right? It depends. Typically, they they take uh, quite a long time. Um, so. I identify those things um, and then I, st I start breaking them down. Okay, what, what will I do in this month to, to make me advance in this direction? What will I do in this week to make me advance in that direction? And what am I doing in each day? And then I do like when, when I have the time, like on, on Saturday morning, I review how those things are, if those things are aligned or if I should... Um, rethink a bit uh, stuff around okay so th that's that's a quick overview i'll i'll go a bit more in and on detail now so i've been using this this uh, software which is OneNote, for like let me check for well since early uh, 2017 so four years now i've i've been using for it for four years to track almost every single day uh, so outside some some long vacations and stuff like that, um, every single day, what am I? What is my plan? And actually, it should be pretty funny to look uh, to, to look at some early examples. So I essentially these are very very crude and some some s very specific things. And I, oh, it's it's awesome to to look into them because uh, I get those those flashback moments. Um, but still, right now the, the the whole process evolved quite a lot, and it evolved. It started with the method bullet journaling. Um, this is something that you can look up on Google. Bullet journaling. It's it, it's something kind of related to this, in which you're try you're trying to have some monthly um, a monthly perspective, and then you do uh, you you plan your days, you transport. Uh, the task from one day to the next and you drop some and whatever that kind of stuff um i i have my adaptation of that in in some ways uh, which is already i guess completely different from the original um and on it essentially i have two main components i have the daily um the the daily um the daily tasks that I have, something similar to what I, to, to what I, the examples that I shown previously, and then I have this monthly tab, right? And we will start with the monthly, uh, understand a bit, and then we will jump into a discussion of the daily planning. Okay. So on the monthly, essentially, I transport, I copy paste this this sheet from one month to the next, and um, on it, I essentially include my overall objectives the things that i want to make progress on and um they should be somewhat measure or somewhat well they they should be achievable they should be somewhat measurable but they should also um they, they should also be um aspiring or challenging uh, they, they should not be trivial essentially and while i have multiple 
object multiple objectives that I want to work on. On a given month, I try to have like at most three that I put more effort in, right? And for example, in this month, I'm trying to, to put more effort in, in playing MTG at pro level. So this is the objective and the goal, let's say, and I, I'm making strides in that direction. So and we will see a bit more uh, how. Um, I also want to be a well-regarded parkour practitioner. And uh, this, well, the pandemic put a, a very harsh stop in that f for a while, but I've been trying to to do some practices by my own while I can. Um, but still, it's something that has really grown on me and uh, it, it's really interesting. And still, I'm, I'm pretty bad at it. <laughs> I'm pretty bad still. Uh, but that's, that's why it, it's challenging. Um, and I also want to have a clear and sharp mind and body via regular meditation. Um, uh, this is something that I'm keeping back at, but meditation, it, it can really help you in rebalancing your mental energy, I would say. Even before, before this stream, I had a very uh, relatively stressful uh, work day. So I try to just go outside, just close my eyes for a bit, breathe in, breathe out, just do some, some small breathing exercises just to try to get the feeling for, um, uh, or trying to get in the mood for streaming. And of course, uh, Wicked Beggar's uh, donation <laughs> definitely helped to, to raise my mood, so I'm very grateful for it, Wick. Uh, it's really appreciated. So yeah, and th there are other, other skills that I also want to work on, but they are not the focus right now. One cannot do everything at, uh, at the same time. So, and this is a quick hint for something that I, that I will discuss afterwards. Uh, but the underlined ones are the ones that I have in growth mode. Essentially, what this means is I'm trying to improve at, to get to a next level, even if it's just a small step. I want to take that step. And then the ones that are not underlined, I have them on maintenance. This is something that I, well, I was always thinking, okay, what should I do right now? And uh, well, I, I'm, I'm someone who has maybe too many goals or too, too many aspirations <laughs> at a single point in time. So it's very helpful to, for you to know, and, and it's liberating for you to know, okay, this month I'm focusing on X. Oh, that, that's, that's great feedback week. I, I truly appreciate it. I, I, I thought that most of these things were, were kind of okay-ish. Uh, well, but, but people seem to, seem to enjoy it. So yeah, I'll, I'll keep on pushing them. Uh, and I, I'm really, gr the, again, I started streaming and, um, because I wanted to challenge myself in magic and uh, develop um, a routine. So <laughs> you, you, you see the, the parallelism. I, I wanted, well, I, it helped me to get out of, outside of my comfort zone with social networks, promo, promoting myself on social networks. That's something that I never did. I, I never quite enjoyed it, but I've been learning a lot in that. And it also helped me establish a, 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 a habit on playing magic, on getting better at magic. And on top of that, um, and this is also some feedback that I get at work and so on. So uh, I'm, I'm someone that tries to organize and to make, uh, to establish patterns, to, to try to de develop processes, essentially, that helps, uh, helps me and help, helps those around me to, to, to be more efficient and to be more successful in some ways. Um, so that's why I'm kind of discussing this today. Um, so again, uh, we, we have some objectives, some of them I'm trying to grow on, others I'm, uh, um, I'm just maintaining, so trying to not regress. <laughs> okay, so that's, um, those are, in, the, in this context, are stuff like um, being, uh, being very good at data science, which is related to what I do on, uh, for, for a living, um, working on my, uh, having a sound financial strategy. I've been working quite a lot on that in the, in the past year, uh, despite the fact that I started, restarted playing magic, right? <laughs> 
that can that can challenge your your the best financial strategy that you can come up with um and also achieve mastery on wing chun which is has been quite challenging because i don't i i'm not able to have classes and it's something that really requires uh human touch to to develop and human interaction so that's those are a bit the objectives then i also have here a section that that is completely optional sometimes i don't have it but i, I try to i try to list down so that i try so that i commit to it a list of stacked habits uh what do i mean by this is it, and it's one of the strategies discussed in the in the book by james clear atomic habits it's if you if you try to to anchor some habits on some other habits that you already have you maximize the chances of making progress of actually doing it right so i try to I was trying to like delineate a series of habits that I want to uh, make sure I do, and so that I, I turn them into innate, like an innate sequence of actions that I that I do. For example, for waking up, I was I'm trying, and I'm still trying sometimes to. Um, to like get out of bed and so, so that, and the first thing first thing that I do is not immediately check up my phone um, and not to stay in bed like 10 15 minutes after the alarm rings um, so I'm trying to okay let's start by doing this this stuff and then we will uh, get into the day uh, and because after after I do all these steps I will most li more likely not be sleepy right because well i'm sleepy and i can either spend those 15 minutes or waste those 15 minutes in bed um turning my head <laughs> or doing whatever and then i can spend those 15 minutes actually cooking breakfast having breakfast and um and and doing whatever and at the end of of that time i'm i'm much more awake so uh essentially i gain a, a bunch of time for my day uh, that i wouldn't have otherwise and we will look into how that uh, impacts my day today in in like the, a weekly planning that i that i did at some point um and at noon at the end of the day i also have some some other other habits but that's that's mostly it and then so we have top level objectives and then there's uh, some stuff that i that i'm trying to achieve on a given month and bear in mind, lately I, I haven't have, have the time to to dedicate a lot of time to planning. Uh, so there are so, some things missing, but I will fill them in as 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 we go. Like I will explain them why they're there uh, as we go. So um, there's there's some monthly objectives that I'm trying to achieve. For example, in March I was trying to oh monthly. The March one is actually interesting. Well, because I have stuff that I and I did achieve them. Uh, I was trying to revamp YouTube, learn DaVinci Resolve, which is a video editing software, um, start playing in tournaments. So uh, in online tournaments, in this in these uh, MTG tournaments, that is. Um, and I actually did some of them. Right. Uh, I did not revamp the schedule. I will look into the schedule. Um, uh like in in a few minutes but that's that's mostly it so this month i have a, a different set of objectives that try to push me in the direction of my overarching objectives um and and yeah th this this doesn't really matter it, well the beauty of one note is that you, you don't really have restrictions. You don't have to follow a given template. So I'm constantly trying stuff around. I was trying last month to to organize things by the um, by their priority. So let's tackle the the first one first, the second one. Uh, but there are there are ways, different ways to 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 achieve these things, like creating a Discord. Come on, this was done like two months ago or something. But yeah, uh, I, so I'm constantly trying stuff around. Um, but but the 
I want to focus today in the skeleton, the, the things that seems to seem to be working for me um, um, nowadays. Then after the month, I, if I want, I can specify like weekly objectives. So if, if I if I'm trying to accomplish a given thing on a given week, for example, uh, next week I want to I want to be or by the end of this week actually I want to have the limited spreadsheet uh, all filled up. And today I, I did some work on that, um, and we will hopefully look into that spreadsheet in one of one future uh, streaming session. But that's that's about it. Um, I can use these weekly goals if I if I want. I'm not sure if I if I was using it at some point. Uh, so get my priority sorted, finish limited spreadsheet. I finished uh, uh, an intermediate version. But yeah, getting my priorities sorted, this is the reason for me to, to have a, the schedule that we will see and we will discuss a bit afterwards. Then I have a section for random thoughts. I typically put here some some quotes or something like that that I find during the month, either in the book the books that I'm reading or whatever. Then there's an the, there's the habits tracker section. And this is an interesting one. Because I've also tried several different variations. Right now I settled on weekly and daily habits. So these are things that I that I hopefully or that, that I tr actively try to do every single day. And these are things that I want to do somehow. Uh, it doesn't really matter the specific days, but I, uh, I want to achieve every single week. And these are sort of these habits build towards both maintenance and and um and growth right um being a bit more specific on a given week i want to ensure um even though i have a train session uh, a, a train column here which i i like do something that i that i trained uh, well i specify the the what i trained on physical training that is um but i want to have at least three of those sessions per week on parkour and uh, there are some f some for magic and then i have the section on um on the daily habits and I, I guess you understand it essentially on every single day i come here i try to i i update i have like half an hour um where i try to plan my day i look back to what i did what i did not if i should plan ahead um and update the what habits did I did I accomplish in, in in a given day, right? So that's that's a bit um, th th that's essentially the monthly section. Uh, every single month, I copy again. I copy this from one um, from one month to the next. I I do some editing. Uh, I might change the objectives that I'm working on that month, um, and and yeah that. That's that's essentially it. Um, now, on a daily basis, so this is all fine and good, but um, it's also very important to understand what what should you work on on a given day. And for that, I have like a template that I copy paste for each day. Um, and even though I don't fill all sections, uh, let's let's uh, every single day uh, consistently. Uh, it's still relevant to, to work through them. Um, first and foremost, um, we have a distinction between personal objectives and professional objectives. I have this distinction here because I have I'm uh, I have a nine to to six <laughs> job, um, so it takes a good chunk of my day. Uh, it makes sense for me to segregate the um, my objectives for for the company that i'm working uh with or something like that um on a se separate section but i still want to to have like to have the perception if i'm working towards growth or towards maintenance and what's what's that growth and versus maintenance i have already discussed that um a bit top level right but um the main thing about this distinction, and this is something recent that I did. Um, the main thing about this distinction is you can think of maintenance tasks 
as those recurring boring or repetitive tasks uh, that that you have to do right well i'm not writing here stuff like making dinner <laughs> or making making lunch whatever um because those things happen naturally and th those are c committed well th those need to happen and i actually have some some methods to ensure that i that i like eat uh consistently through my days like uh, alarms on on the on the watch to make sure that i do breaks otherwise some days i wouldn't <laughs> and that happened a lot in the past but yeah that, that's that's a bit too specific um go, going a bit uh, um a bit more high level in terms of maintenance tasks are those tasks like for example today i have uh today is the sixth today i have stream as as um as a maintenance task uh, and I actually don't plan and won't uh, work on any growth task today, for example. Of course, I'm still growing in some aspects because of and because of the stream, but um, growth, it's you can think about it in in the in the sense of what what is a one time effort in some way that that gets you to the next level that that improves something, right? And um, yeah, th that's essentially it. So let's say that I'm working on um, some new stream uh, layout or or a given some commands for the for Nightbot. If I was working on 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 that kind of stuff, I, it's it's creative, right? It's it's co I'm constructing. I'm it's not really consuming. Um, um, so that those are the sort of things that I put in growth, like working on the limited spreadsheet. Um, that would go into growth mode, into the growth section. Um, and for work, it's also very important to to make the, that distinction because, for example, um, and using the specific example of my uh, my current day to day work, um, there's a lot, a lot of tasks, and most of the tasks are uh, main fall under maintenance very few of them i i managed to 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 put very few of them into growth and this was actually what sparked my desire to make this this distinction between growth and maintenance it's because i if you don't if you don't track so you cannot you cannot evaluate what you cannot measure and if you don't track uh, the kind of tasks that would maybe even automate some of those maintenance tasks or it will they will improve the capacity or the use cases that the company is able to to address um if i'm not putting effort in, in that uh, in that segment and working only on maintenance maintenance will only grow and that's the that's the thing uh, unless you explicit explicitly drop support for something um like i i won't stream anymore because it takes a lot of time right Let, let's let's just that's completely um out of the out of question but uh, for, for now but still the um, imagine that okay so, so that that's a maintenance task that that i can drop right i i i can definitely drop that but there's no other way to to automate it, but I can do some automation tasks to help me and to alleviate a bit the load on starting streaming, such like uh, having program a script that launches all the apps that I need um, for a streaming session and that push that publishes all the updates on social networks and stuff like that. That's something, right? That's that's growth definitely because I will gain more time on my on my future streaming sessions because I just need to press like a button and everything works, right? I could uh I I could do something like that. So that's the, that's uh, I guess that's uh enough intuition on growth versus maintenance and um again, I think I think it's very important to to make sure that you don't fall always on maintenance um but also to make sure that you don't follow always on growth because it also that also might mean that you're learning 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 or uh producing something 
but you're you might be you might be leaving a lot of stuff behind right so it's like that yin yang situation where you need to balance the trade off between both okay now there's also two additional sections here those these are two very special sections uh, and part per particular ones and actually let me just put these like having three because th these are just smaller uh, which is the gratitude journal and tomorrow's big thing so these sections are the ones that I don't fill in every single day because sometimes the the schedules go a bit uh, array. Um, but I still think they are very, very important. First, gratitude journal. In this section, I essentially try to, to put three things that I'm grateful for in that day. Um, and why do, why do I do this? <laughs> um, first of all, if you're not aware uh, and you might, uh, gratitude can can be a very or practicing gratitude can be a very good can provide a good boost to your overall mood and to to your overall well-being because our brain is in some aspects like a muscle and if you if you train it on bad thoughts you will you will have more bad thoughts <laughs> And if you train that it on good thoughts, like uh, pra being grateful for what happens to you, um, it's you're you're training it in the right direction. So again, habits, developing a good habits that uh, those that will help you to to continue to walk towards your objective. Um, and gra gratitude is also it's not only about having good thoughts and and practicing having your brain having your those good thoughts and force forcing it to have um it's also because gratitude as a, as a particularity uh, uh, that is kind of related to, to meditation which is um your it's re direct it's recognizing that you're already in a very good spot right if if you have stuff to be grateful for you're more most likely already in a good spot, so you might lower your anxiety levels because, at least for me, I'm, I, it's very easy for me to fall into the trap of always looking for to to the next big shiny thing. Okay, you, ne, ne, tomorrow I will work on that direction, and then I'll work in that, and I, I never take a moment, or I never took a moment. Um, to, to be grateful and to celebrate achieving those milestones, like starting streaming um, I, or getting to affiliate. I celebrated it a bit, but I still fe feel that, um, well, it's, it, I think it's still a good accomplishment and you, you need to celebrate those small wins and, and be grateful for, for what you already have to, to counterweight a bit your ambitions. So the human being is always ambitious, right? We are always trying to get better to be better to have more and that's actually an issue of today's society uh like uh, a lot of garbage everywhere and um futility it's it's something ingrained in in today's society uh a lot and um and so there's all of that right and while some people um would th uh, if they feel kind of bad they would simply go to the chopping right and okay this 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 is like a rush of dopamine and i feel so much better now um another another more healthy way is to like okay what am i grateful for okay, oh the, the, this this person is has been great for me for example something that i write here and there is i'm really grateful to to have um refound or even found my passion for magic last year because it has enabled me to meet so many awesome people like the week like week the beggar who, who, who i would never g get to know by other means um and um also improve my decision making on on ev everyday life and professional life um so i'm definitely grateful for getting into <laughs> magic for example uh, but even thanking for for having some people recognizing s that some people are really important for your life and um i i think i think it's something that you don't do 
often enough. At least I I don't, uh, even though I'm trying to make efforts in, in the right direction, I still don't. Um, so moving on, tomorrow's big thing. This is like a section where I try to, to detail what I'll be doing in the next day. In the sense of... Um, so it, it's like the thing that I will think about as soon as I wake up, in some ways, to, to get me out of bed, to make, to, to make me energized, um, to get into my day, right? It, it, it helps on getting me motivated, right? Uh, so, that, so that's why I try to, to write it out in tomorrow's big thing, because it's something that I, that I try again uh, in my morning to have that, um, that trigger that makes me think about the tomorrow's big thing. And this is a single item, generally speaking. For example, yesterday it was start working on Strixhaven um, limited spreadsheet. It's something relatively small, but, uh, but still, it's something that I was looking forward to, to get more familiarity with the new cards and, uh, and actually uh, try to assess their quality and, um, and all that stuff before they're widely discussed. Uh, right, so that th those are the sections that I have here um, and their purpose. Um, as always, if you have any questions, if you and if you're watching live, uh, feel free to to push them into into the chat. If you're watching this offline on YouTube, just leave a comment. I'll make sure to reply. Um, so that that's. So we review the monthly section, the daily section. This is the daily template that I fill in every day. I move some tasks from one day to the next. I try to assess how many growth tasks do I have, all that stuff. Still, something that I, that I felt really hard at some point was a lack of ability to work on, to work on all the things that I wanted to be working on, right? So that's. That's something uh, I was finding like my time all was all spent in doing something really important. And, and it's also very easy to fall into this trap. So you look back, okay, I'm, I'm always, I always have something productive to do at every single moment in time. Yeah, but are you working towards the right direction meaningfully? Or are you just on a treadmill and even though you're walking, you're not leaving the same place, right? Um, that, that's something that you need, I guess, to ask yourself. I asked myself that question and, I, and I, I definitely feel like I had some rough edges to, that I could improve on, uh, some ways that w where I can spend my time. A, specific, a very specific one is um, realizing that if I make my morning routine more efficient i'll be more awake i'll i'll and i'll have more time to work on meaningful things right and to realize that i actually have a bucket of time between waking up and morning routine and whatever and start work starting working right i have some time in there that i can use to do to do stuff like in this example i'm uh, I'm using that, that bucket of time, generally speaking, to practice magic. And this helps me ensure that every single day, at least for like one hour or not, sometimes not even that, but at least for a small bucket of time, I'm thinking about magic. I'm thinking about playing magic and I'm playing the game and I'm at least making some strides in the right direction, in the direction that I, that I want to in the goals that I'm trying to pursue, right? So, because uh, essentially I felt like, okay, do I actually have time to work on the things that I value or do I really need to drop stuff that I, that I most definitely love but I, that I don't have the time for it? So I tried to, to, to build this, sp this <laughs> yeah, spreadsheet <laughs> um, on, on it. Like... Each bucket is, uh, represents half an hour and uh, I try to lay out my days as best as possible and my weekends, I'm still reviewing this because my weekends have been very different one from the next, mostly because 
all the confinement and COVID and everything else has been has has been uh, changing things around very fast. So I'm not really sure about the current plan for the for the week weekend. Uh, but still, during the weekdays, it it has been working just fine. Um, essentially, I have my morning routine. I leave one hour for it, and I try to. And, and if I like, if I get, if if I do all my morning routine by and by eight a.m., I'm done with that. I'm I'm like ecstatic because it's it's already. I, I when this happens, I'm already celebrating because <laughs> because I managed to do it, and it's still, it's a small accomplishment, but. It gives me power to to get into the next thing, which is like booting up my computer and smashing in some some magic games until I get to nine thirty and nine nine thirty something like that, and I start planning my day. I go over the um, uh, I go over the one note and I edit stuff around and uh, and with with that I, I feel much more comfortable about the day that I'm having ahead of me. Then I have work, I have, uh, during lunch, I'm typically watching. Oh, hey, well, welcome you. No, no problem. It's really appreciated. Thank you for lurking. Um, today, by, by the way, for everyone that joined us today, um, we're just starting with a, <laughs> what was to be a, a quick review of how I plan my day to day, but I guess I'm... Well, I'm already speaking about it for like 50 minutes, uh, but still, I, I like to I like to explore this sort of stuff with with you guys um, because I've I've been getting uh, nice feedback on it, and and the notion that people are actually trying to trying to to employ some of these strategies, I guess. Um, so I have lunch, I typically watch uh, like gameplay videos on YouTube uh, for, for, the, for the past few uh, lunch breaks. I've been watching the games from the Kaldime Championship, for example, and I've been learning a lot. <laughs> it's, it's awesome, Bec mainly because now I've been actually dedicating some time to construct it and I start understanding uh, a bit better why th those... Uh, edge decisions are taking are taken in one way or the other. Why the sideboard plans are employed, so stuff like that. So um, that's I, I've been spending some time in that. Then I try to read uh, some something um, like generally speaking, I try to read something related to my to my profession, data science, which is something that I also quite enjoy. Um, then. I have the work, uh, I relax for a bit. It's also important that I feel that I don't have that here explicitly enough, at least during the weekend, which is moments to relax. Because <laughs> you, you, you're not a robot, I'm not a robot. Uh, a robot. Uh, so it's very important to have these, these sort of moments. Then I have uh, some moments where I, where I try to, to, to practice um, to practice a given sport or stream magic if if it's on Thursdays or uh, or Tuesdays, dinner, meditate, process daily notes. This is the moment, and this is uh, this is not right. Process, and I'll fix that everywhere else afterwards. But yeah, I try. I I I do some like a daily meditations not all every single day to be honest but i'm trying to to get better at the at that habit like every single day i try to spend around 10 10 minutes um meditating with the help of um of the app waking up which is very very interesting then i read until i go to bed essentially that, that's that's a typical day of mine and um what this enabled me to do was to to understand and let me try to open it up um, to understand and this is yeah this is outdated to understand essentially okay i do have enough time to practice magic to to get better at it and that 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 was my concern at the time essentially um, i was not finding enough time to to practice magic to actually play the game and and um, and improve on it um, 
so that's that's one of the reasons for me to build this and and building this this also makes it it has two benefits right you realize that you actually have more time than you than you might think and it also makes you more committed um or actually yeah you're committing to to doing something and by committing to doing something um at the moment you define this this schedule you're freeing yourself to not having to make those decisions at the time right i don't need to arrive at 8 a.m or something and decide okay what will i do no it, it's decided for me if, if there's something that i need to that i really need to do and i need to drop this that's fine but i will i i, I will the default decision is practice magic that's my default decision. That's why it's here. And that's why I think it's, this is a very valuable tool. So I don't need to spend half an hour here trying to decide what, what I'll do while I scroll through Twitter or something like that, right? That's, that's wasting time. And I, um, and I don't have that much time to waste. Then there are some notes here, but don't, don't mind them that much. I, it's just something that, some things that I, that I was trying to explore. But uh, again, um, a lot of I want to focus on on the skeleton of what I feel has been working for me um, on planning my days and what kind of resources am I using. As always, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, in discussing this, if you want me to share anything um, of these sorts, we I do have a Discord channel where where I'm pretty active, and that that's where. Um, even some experimental stuff, uh, things that I'm thinking about, or or anyone in the Discord is thinking about, we it's a very nice place to to discuss them and to to try to essentially all get better together. So, how did you find today's level up? I hope that you learned and liked it at least more than Elsa did. You can find the link for the original in the video description down below. If you like this kind of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That also helps spreading out the word and helping as many magic players as possible. And on top of that, it also means the world to me. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what are you working on or what do you want to work on to take your game to the next level. We might just gear our future level up reviews towards that. I do also stream on Twitch, so if you want to interact with me live, head over to twitch.tv slash We're building an awesome community in there, and we would definitely love to have you around. Thank you for joining, and see you next time. Planeswalking out!